So the question of how to help a child that is always doing something you don't want him to and you're always feeling like you're negative and saying no is, is a big challenge, particularly for toddlers. And the important principle is to understand where they are developmentally with their speech and language development. Our assumption as adults is that when we talk to a kid that age, they understand us. The fact is they don't. They, they, uh, toddlers are at a, at a stage where they're very concrete. They're understanding words like mama, dada, doggy, you know, very specific things. And, and uh, abstract ideas like no, that's wrong, that's naughty, they don't get it yet. They may understand the tone of your voice, no, and it'll frighten them. But it doesn't, they, they don't understand that that means that's wrong. They understand that you're giving them attention. For instance, you're in the kitchen doing the dishes, you hear your kid in the other room playing with the TV, and you come suddenly running in, he hasn't had any of your attention, suddenly he plays with this TV and you're there. And you're saying these words to him. And uh, after he gets over maybe the, the shock of you being there, he says, wow, that worked. So what's he gonna do? As soon as you walk out, he's gonna do it again because he got your attention. And, and, it, and it wasn't because of the word, uh, because of anything you said. And he didn't understand the word no, he simply understood you came. And so as a parent, if you keep doing that, you will, you will simply reinforce the very behavior you're trying to get rid of. So the best thing to do is when you come running in and find a child doing something you don't want them to do, distract him. Grab a ball and just throw it at him. Uh, grab a truck or a doll and start playing right next to him. You don't pay any attention to the object that they're playing with. You simply do something new. And, and most of the time, that child will drop what they're doing and want to be with you because it's all about attention at that age. And, uh, you know, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it sure works most of the time. And then you've got a child who's not being reinforced for playing with the, the bad things. I mean, when you leave the room, he's not going to go back to it because that's not what he got attention for. He got attention for the object. And uh, so if you kind of understand the developmental stage that kids are in, Discipline makes a lot more sense.